Here's a little video walk around, just to convince you the condition. Uh, on the back of the van we've got some stickers up the top. They come off nice and easy. They don't leave any ghosting, they're just a solid sticker on a solid background, so it comes off nice and easily and doesn't leave a mark. We have no damage whatsoever down this side. We still have decent tyres, which are Conti Vanco campers. Still plenty of life left in those. Uh, no damage down the skirts. You can see here we've got the toilet cassette and the fresh water filler point. Down below here is the wastewater discharge point and we have the gas boiler exhaust pipe. As you can see, clean and tidy down this side. Nothing really apart from the odd hedge mark. Coming forward to the cab area. The vehicle will be sold with the mirror protectors on, which as you can see is still nice and tidy. The little sticker where it says Attenborough will be taken off. This is the 2.3 120 horsepower, which is plenty of power really in reality. And we've still got plenty of life left on these front tyres. Coming around the front, apart from the occasional very small stone chip, I'm not aware of there being any damage on the front. Windscreen's all in good condition and there is no damage to the Luton up the top. Around this side of the van, apologies, a little shady on this side, um, however, I'm not aware there's any damage down through here. You've got the diesel filler and the AdBlue filler just down there. A few very minor hedge marks on some of the stickers, however most of those have polished away. You have the outside light on this van. Got the gas locker down here which holds two six kilo propanes. The skirts are all clean and tidy. Fridge vents, power inlet. We've polished up the windows so you don't have any marks on them. Again, sticker to go up the top. Side skirts, corners, all in good order. Rear bumper. Up above we've got the Fiamma 4 bike rack, maximum 60 kilos. That's again in all in good condition. And then looking at the top, you've got your reversing cameras and a couple more stickers to be removed. Rear locker loads right through the van. And handy little clip it just to keep it held up. This is the external storage on the van, which as you see, loads right through. Got lashing points down here if you need to bolt anything down. And there's a couple of extenders for the seating area in the cabin kept here. As you can see, there's plenty of room inside and uh, it's all in good condition. So as we go into the van, First thing we have is the grab handle and the illuminated Roller Team logo on the entrance mirror, which is a nice little touch. First thing then we see is the front dinette. There's seating here for four people and three belted seats. This is a removable table and down under the far corner there's a 240 volt socket and a USB socket for charging. Immediately up above you have three fairly large airline style lockers so plenty of storage in this part of the cabin nice um, airy roomy space as well because of course the roof is quite high at this point on the left you get another airline style locker and immediately below it we have um, a space for putting a TV and then you have three drawers in the chest. Up above the cab there's the really large double bed accessed via ladder, has its own light, skylight, blinds, plenty of room up there and of course safety net and curtains. You get a terrific sense of space in this van because of course it's so open uh, inside um, that's helped by having the galley kitchen on the right down here, where you have a fridge with a freezer compartment in the top. You can remove the freezer compartment to make more fridge if you so wish. A um, little space underneath the cooker where we keep the fire extinguisher, but that's uh, got emergency gas taps. Then you have a Thetford duplex oven and grill, which runs on gas. And then we have the worktop 
in this particular case there's a small chip on the worktop not very large but the rest of it's in good condition and you get the three burner hob stainless steel sink obviously we'll remove the fire blanket for when the van leaves and then up here you've got storage which we normally keep our inventory items in across to this side we have the roller team panel where you can control everything on the van this would be power on uh, we'll remove this sticker but normally something lights up here to just tell you that mains power is connected and working then we have our engine battery level our leisure battery level and our fresh water level which is currently empty and that will also tell you your wastewater level coming across to the other side we can turn our pump on for the sink uh, the outside light for the van and the internal lights here this will tell us the internal temperature and that's an actual rather than a target working our way back up through the van we have some storage in the floor access like so. This van has brand new carpets, we haven't fitted them for the purpose of this video, however uh, you can see that the floor is undamaged. Uh, we would fit the brand new unused carpets at point of sale uh, and it feels really luxurious when you have uh, the carpets in here. As we work our way back we've got this uh, rip fairly generous wardrobe in which we keep the table, secondary table plenty of room for hanging your clothes in there and then we tend to keep um, pots and pans and cutlery inside these slide out drawers here. Looking at the back of the van then we have our u-shaped rear lounge which uh, is great you can seat up to six people in this area using the removable table the table can then be used outside the van if you so wish um, or stashed in the cupboard when you're not using it in the case of this van you can remove the rear corners and use these areas as two singles or you can pull out the centre section here into here like so and then turn this into one large low level bed. The storage, you can fit duvets and pillows in underneath the seats on both sides and then up around the top, it's a fantastic area here because you've got windows on three sides so it feels really nice and light and airy um, the uh, skylight up in the top but of course as you can see you've got these uh, six airline style lockers which will house all the rest of your stuff in this particular van we also have speakers in the rear and the ability to run the radio when the vehicle is parked also in this area we have the boiler control and options for fitting TV so if you wished to use your TV in the rear of the van as opposed to uh, in the front dinette where the TV bracket is kept you've also got the option to connect to the main aerial here. This is your boiler which is a Truma combi boiler and by that you can run it in a number of number of ways uh, that would control your central heating and that would go all the way up to 30 odd degrees this would control your hot water which takes it up to 60 degrees and this one controls what you run the boiler on so in this case we have the option to run it on electricity a lower amount of electricity a mix of gas and electricity or gas so you've got options really for running your boiler whatever the situation and the other icons here are just for ventilation and timers and settings Next we're going forward into the washroom, in here you have your toilet, the bowl swivels to whichever position you want, uh, you've got somewhere to store your towels and up the top you have a little locker, then you have your shower tray and a sink and with this sink the tap pulls up to fix onto the side of the wall to use it as a shower. Moving forward in the van to the cab area, you can see we have two swivel seats which can just be moved around to lock back into place. We have captain seats, we have thermo mats for our front and side windows in the cab and in front of us we have a cab still in very good condition. Um, we have a bit of storage, glove box down here, 
a bit more storage at the top. Multimedia lead, multimedia unit. We'll talk some more about that in a moment. And then here you have aircon controls, you've got a couple of charging points, uh, you have traction control, you have a hill descent mode, uh, means for locking the vehicle, obviously obligatory cup holders. There's a dedicated switch here for turning the radio on. And then up front you get the usual uh, steering wheel controls. Cruise control in this van, six speed box. Our multimedia unit, just seen here. We have um, options on here for navigation, which is vehicle specific navigation, FM tuner, DAB plus tuner. Um, there are camera options on here as well. So when you hit reverse, it will turn the camera on. But that's the kind of view that you would get. So a pretty useful unit, really. Van is currently on 12,016 miles. No need for service yet. That's the cab.